is the big story that everyone is talking about the struggle to find baby formula and it has plenty of new mothers thinking about breastfeeding. Joining us now to talk about that is lactation expert Suzanne Jewell from Bayou City Breastfeeding. First of all, thanks for joining us this afternoon. So are you seeing a surge of new mothers trying to start lactating again due to the formula shortage? And is that possible? It, it is possible and we are getting some requests for moms to learn how to relactate. Um, basically, anyone who has breastfed or has freeze breast milk can relactate. Even if you haven't breastfed, you can induce lactation, but it's, it's difficult. But definitely relactation is something that people are interested in right now, um, as well as just increasing their milk supply. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that a large percentage of women who are breastfeeding also feed formula. Um, what the data says in 2018 is that 30, almost 36% of breastfeeding babies also receive formula. Um, I looked at the rates for, for uh, Texas and for, for the uh, United States and um, roughly around that amount or a little bit more of babies who are breastfeeding also receive formula. So this doesn't just affect moms who are exclusively formula feeding. The formula shortage affects a large percentage of the population. Suzanne, you said that, that restarting lactation, it's, it's a difficult process, but what is the process? What, what is entailed? What can a mother do to restart that process? So if she's still lactating, she's still producing breast milk, um, increasing stimulation is the biggest thing that will increase milk supply. Um, so there are, you know, herbals and supplements and things that you can take, but ultimately breast, uh, breast milk supply is supply and demand. And so a newborn baby is going to typically feed at the breast eight to 12 times every 24 hour period. So if your baby is no longer feeding at the breast, then we put a breast pump in place and you have to pump about every three hours to stimulate that milk supply. Um, and again, there are, you know, there are things that you can take that might help increase supply, but ultimately it really is supply and demand. What about, uh, what are your thoughts on mothers sharing, donating or selling their milk uh, to help out other moms? So informal milk sharing is not a new thing. Um, we've had, um, we've had wet nurses from, you know, for, for a long, long time. Um, it's, it went kind of out of vogue um, uh, in recent years, but there still has been informal milk sharing going on this, this whole time. It's just now becoming more prevalent. Um, there is a group called eatsonfeets.org, and they have established what we call the four pillars of safe breast milk sharing. Um, and these are kind of the standards that you want to go through if you want to um, use somebody or if you want to share breast milk with somebody else. And those standards are informed choice, understanding that there is some risk to it, um, doing donor screening, um, that can include requesting labs or blood tests, um, looking at how they're collecting the milk, making sure that it's being handled properly, um, safe handling, and then you can do home pasteurization that reduces the risk as well. Um, so we are seeing a lot of informal milk sharing happening right now. Um, there's some concern about milk selling, um, just because when you start putting money into the equation, then there's the possibility that the milk might be adulterating. Like it might, they might add um, cow's milk to the breast milk to make it look like there's more milk there. Um, so again, it's it, it's a little bit of a gray area when we start talking about selling breast milk. Um, most of the moms that I know that have donated or that have shared breast milk do it on a donation standpoint. They're doing it from an altruistic standpoint. They're wanting to help babies. Um, and so they're not looking for making money from it. They're really just, if there's any exchange of, uh, of anything, it's mainly to replace the supplies like the breast milk storage bags. Yeah, the, the sharing the milk is nothing new either. I donated no. years ago. So yeah, that, that's been in practice for many years. All right. Well, Suzanne Jewell, thank you so much from Bayou City Breastfeeding. Thanks for joining us this afternoon and sharing. Oh, you're welcome. It's nice to talk to you.